Well, hello, this is Alex Phillips sitting in once again for Kevin O'Sullivan here on Talk TV and Talk Radio. Thank you if this is the second day in a row you're joining me. Well done, you. Medals will be in the post. Coming up today, of course, we're still talking about the Bibby Barge. Um, the row rumbles on. And we're going to be looking at some of the language used by the Tory vice chairman, Lee Anderson, who weighed in using, well, particularly fruity terms uh, to exclaim that asylum seekers should F off back to France. Now, is that really befitting of a man in high office? Should he be saying, pardon, my friend, or is he just basically reflecting the mood of the nation? Do let me know. Meanwhile, the number of civil servants earning more than £100,000 a year has nearly doubled. That's right. New data suggests that Whitehall has been using a loophole in order to get around pay freezes. Uh, do we get a good return on investment when it comes to the civil service with almost half now working from home? Yep, yeah, that's right. Enjoying doing their laundry and making constant instant frappuccinos. Um, do we really think that they deserve this pay rise? And then, of course, you've got the ones who all went on strike against the government's Rwanda plan. Does the civil service have a whip hand when it comes to the running of this country? Call me 0344 499 1000 or text talk plus your message to 8722. Also coming up later, we're going to be talking about new woke guidelines issued by magistrates that include banning words like policeman and chairman. Yep, snowflake bosses at the Magistrates Association are the latest to issue a style guide for staff, which of course bans any reference to gender because in this day and age, saying you're a man or a woman is akin to blaspheme. Um, uh, first, though, to dissect all of these stories of the day is going to be former Labour advisor Mike Buckley. Mike, great to have you on the programme. Hi there, how are you? Hi, good. How are you doing? Not bad. Thanks very well. Let's kick off, first of all, with Lee Anderson and his fruity language. Now, I, I can imagine where you might stand on this, but does he not really just reflect the mood of the general population who constantly hear in the news every single day the government's got a plan to deal with channel crossings, they've got a plan to save on hotel bills, they've come up with at least uh, one small solution, one barge which is supposed to house around 500 people, and now even that seems to be thwarted with asylum seekers saying, well, I don't want to stay on it, I'm scared of water. I mean, the barge is, it's just a distraction and it's just theatre. I mean, we're all talking about the barge. 